Hello and welcome to Bay Area Focus. I'm your host, Kenny Choi, filling in for Michelle Griego. We would love to hear um, some show ideas. So you could visit us at facebook.com slash Bay Area Focus and comment to the page. Coming up on the Today Show, we have a program that offers support for artists, a food bank seeking to end hunger in the community, and an author. First, we have an author of True Love, How to Use Science to Understand Love. And we want to welcome Dr. Fred Knorr. Fred, thanks for joining us here this morning. It's my pleasure. So tell me, as the year ends, 2016 year ends, a lot of people are, are still searching for that, that love and the, the one that they want to spend the rest of their life with. What should they be focusing on? What are some of the key elements that, that you want people to focus okay. on? If you want to find the perfect mate, your first step is to try to be a perfect mate yourself. Mm -hmm. And to get there, you have to use two skills. One is called introspection. The other one is called acceptance. And what does that mean? Introspection is the ability to look at yourself objectively from the outside in to see what you did right, what you do right, and what you don't do as well. And use that to improve yourself. Mm -hmm. And, and in, in this book, you talk about four phases of love. Take us through some of those phases. Correct. And how did you come up with those phases? Okay, uh, we all get our education about love from artists, mm -hmm. from uh, Walt Disney cartoons, from romance novels written by fiction artists and so on. It's not based on science. This is based on science and based on science, love does not hit us one time and last for a lifetime. Love is a series of events based on the physical chemistry of the brain, and it happens in four different phases. Yeah, and, and those true four love phases, is right. the last phase of that. Mm -hmm. and, four, and, and those four phases? Yes. Tell us a little bit more okay. about that. Okay, first phase is called mate selection, because okay. when you select the person that you want to be with, and that uses genes inherited from uh, previous structures of the brain, we use vision, we use sound, we use smell to select the mate that's a match for us. Mm -hmm. We all have different genes. As a result, to get a, a, a mix of two genes that produce good offsprings and happiness is different from a person to a person. Okay, so that was so, phase one. Yes. What are the phase other phases? Phase two is called falling in love or romance. This is the most popular field that everybody <laughs> writes about, everybody yeah. knows about, sure. and believe this is true love. It's not. Yeah. It's just a phase in love. It's a six-month honeymoon. It, yeah, it, right. it lasts usually about two years. Oh, okay. Right. And then it always ends. Right. What and about that, the third phase? Yeah, the third phase is actually falling out of love. Okay. We all fall out of love. We later might not recall it, but everybody has to fall out of love at one moment uh, in their life. And it's a useful phase. It has a certain benefits for us mm -hmm. and based on changes in the brain chemistry. And that's why the divorce rate in this country is so high. That's correct. If you look at the peak of the divorce rate, you find that it's around the third year because it lasts about two years. Right. It takes a while for people to make a decision. Then it takes a while to go to court and have the divorce decree. So you get a little bit of delay between the time of deciding to have the divorce and the divorce showing up on the statistics of divorce. So what's your recommendation for those couples or those people who are going through that phase? So I think well, that's, that's why we have such a high divorce rate. Correct. Right? People I'll give up. say that falling out of love is like a woman enjoying pregnancy, enjoying a wonderful baby kicking around, but it has to end. Mm -hmm. No pregnancy ever lasts forever. It has to, when it ends, it's followed by a very painful and comfortable phase called delivery. Mm -hmm. But we know that delivery is needed to have the baby. Delivery is needed to enjoy that, that baby for a lifetime. The same, we fall out of love. One reason is to see the reality of right. who you are with. During the falling of love phase, the brain chemicals causes illusions. Delusions, you cannot see reality. The so-called love is blind. Right. This is a phase too. Clear the top so you can look and see where am I, am I doing the right things or not. Also, falling out of love is essential in order to fall in love again in case you made an error the first time. 
If you don't fall out of love, you cannot fall in love again with another person. And what about that fourth phase? Because we have fourth a phase bit of is what I call true love. Mm -hmm. This is the long-lasting, permanent love that should stay with us for the rest of our life. And let me ask you this: How did you become such an expert at at this? At okay, talking it's, about it started by accident. In, uh, in 1989, I started in Chicago a support group for multiple sclerosis, a disease unrelated. And two years later, the meeting was going to fall on Valentine's Day. So they came and asked me, give us a lecture about love. We're tired of hearing about multiple sclerosis. Mm -hmm. So I gave the lecture. Obviously, right. they liked it. So next year, they wanted the lecture again and again. So I kept adding, deleting, modifying. Right. Uh, until I left Chicago in 2006. Now I decided to write a book mainly for my two daughters. They are in college, they are millennials, and I want to educate them about the truth of love and protect them from a lot of misinformation about love. Absolutely, and I just want to highlight, oh, we didn't get to this, but there's a, so you also talk about body odor, odor, genes and chemicals and how that can really help someone in terms of falling, of falling in love with the right person. Uh, thank you so much for joining us here today. You can read more about that in the book. For more information on Dr. Noor and his book, it's called True Love. Log on to truelovebook.net. That's truelovebook.net. Up next, a program helping artists achieve their dreams. We'll be right back.